Hello everyone. In this video, we will go through how to pick the random number of questions from a question bank using Google Forms. So first things first, Google Forms does not have any privilege of picking randomized questions from a question bank. And in this video, we will walk through how to do that. So get into Google Forms. Uh, so in this video, I will go through the scenario of picking only one question from a question bank. I will use uh, the scenario of uh, picking one question for web programming practical. Web programming practical and uh, I need uh, basic information of about a student uh, such as uh, email id email id and uh, there is a required field and name and uh, I will use register number these are global parameters for a student okay now uh, i'm going to use a sheet google sheet create a sheet google sheet and we, we are going to link this google sheet with our google form so i'll have to paste uh, i'll have to create a question bank here so rename question bank so i have a pre type a set of questions here some 15 questions i'll use this and i'll use the third column okay, okay. now uh, i need a random function and uh, a ranking function and uh, the questions okay now uh, i'll use some random number and uh, so I have generated a random number. So for all the questions, I am generating a ran random number. For these random numbers, I am going to rank. So equal to rank. So based on the random numbers, I am going to rank. So I have set the limitations for all these cells and comma uh, 1. So the first rank I will have to go through and uh, I lock the cells using dollar symbols dollars and a 16 dollar and another dollar symbol comma 1 so rank 9 so I will copy the contents to all the questions so now I will have to use another sheet out of these questions I am gonna pick one question out of it so I will rename it as a question set No space is required. Question set, and uh, I'm gonna use only one question here. And in this cell, there is a. If you try to index, so this column will be zeroth uh, column, and this row will be zero row. So zero zero, and this one is uh, one comma zero, and uh, here it is one comma one. So in this one comma one space, uh, I'm gonna mark my question. So uh, I'll use V lookup function. We look up so based on first rank so you can use any other rank you can you can you even use uh, rank number five as well so i'm going to use uh, value one and for this i'll go to the question bank sheet and pick up the intervals so these two columns i'm picking the rank as well as the question um, comma so two columns i'm adding and uh, the value until it goes false close it press enter so i have picked up one question rank one question so every time when the sheet up, uh, sheet is called up the rank differs so you will get the random question every time so now i am going to link this form with link this sheet with the google form go to web programming responses so here you have the create sheet option don't create a new spreadsheet select the existing spreadsheet and before that i will have to rename it Now I am renamed. Okay. Now I'll have to select that uh, web programming sheet which I have created now. Select. Okay. Now we have another sheet here. Okay. Now we have question bank sheet. 
equation set sheet and the form responses thing. Okay. Now I will have to write a script tools script editor. I have a pre typed uh, script here. So you will open a script editor. I have a pre typed script and uh, uh, the GitHub link for the script will be given in the description. You can follow that. I will copy this. I will explain this script, try to explain the script as well. Okay. Now uh, we have three sheets form responses, Google Bank, sorry, question bank and the question set. And uh, here um, from that question set, we will have to pick only one uh, uh, question, one, one question out of it. So it is in 1, comma 1 column. So here I have mentioned 1, comma 1. You can edit this. If you, if you want to use more number of questions, you can uh, uh, keep ranking here and you can type your question, uh, pick your questions here. You can expand your selection here and uh, you will have to add more number of lines here. That is uh, 2, 1, 2, 3, uh, sorry 3, 1, 4, 1. So, if you want to more, if you want more number of questions, you can add your questions here. And uh, yes, now uh, after executing this, this script, uh, whatever uh, uh, I will show you the output. So, whenever the random question will be sent to that, uh, I have written the script as if the email will be sent to the student. Now, I am going to save this random is ok. Now, it is saved. So, we have two functions here initialize function and uh, the other function to pick the question. So, I will execute the initialize function, it is executed. Now, you will have to set the permissions, review permission, it is our own script. So, you will have to set, set the permission. So, since it is our own script, you can easily allow. Okay. Now, you have created a form and you have linked uh, question bank and question set with this form. Okay. Now, uh, you can preview. So, email id, register number, random register number. Okay. In later point of time, you can validate this register number if you want. So, we have submitted and uh, we will be receiving our question here. Yeah, I have received a question and this is the question, create a web page uh, that has the home page. So, I have uh, four other questions inside, Okay, sub questions. And if you want to uh, find out which question, which exact question uh, the student has received, you can check your sent items. So, in that your question will be available. And since I have used the same ID for uh, sending and receiving, so you can test it with some other random question as well, submit another response and uh, some other register number submit. I will check it now. So, another question I have received random question and uh, yes. So, this is how randomized picking of uh, question from a question bank works. So, thank you.